We'll guide you through how to get shaders with Optifine. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Shaders can completely change the look of Minecraft and really go and enhance the game. So let's go and get them. And with the help of Optifine, that's how it can be done. So first of all, we need to come and quit off Minecraft just like so. Now, what we need to do first is go and get Optifine. So if you have already got it, you can skip the first part of this video. What you need to do is go and open up a web browser and go and search for Optifine like so and come to Optifine.net. Once you're here, go to the top and you can go and click on downloads like so. What I like to do is just go and get the most recent one, which in this case is 1.21.1. .1. Go and click on download. Now we can go and wait for this to go and finish. Just be aware if you see any download buttons on the ad wall, that is for the ad. To go and get the download page for Optifine, click on skip in the top right. Then you can go and click on download and it will. Now, before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They should be your go-to Minecraft server host. At the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. If you're interested, I'll put a link down below and you can get straight here with it. They've got so many awesome features like one click install mod packs, DDoS protection, keeping your server safe, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help when you need it, ultra latency and many other awesome features as well. So definitely go and check them out. There'll be a link down below. Now we need to go and get the shader pack itself. You can go and browse through them or if you've got a specific one in mind, you can go and search for it. But what you want to do is go and type in curse forge like so. This is a great place for getting different things for Minecraft from. Go to curseforge.com. You can select Minecraft, click on categories to the left and then select shaders. You can then scroll through here and go and see the different options. There's a lot to go and look at. In this case, I want to go and get some complementary shaders. So I'm gonna go and click on this one here. If you scroll down, there are actually different types. In this case, I want to go and get the reimagine style. So I'll click on it. Then you can click on files to the right of description and you can see the different versions here. I like to go and get the most up-to-date one to make sure it's compatible. And what you can do is go over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. Now we need to go and wait, it shouldn't take too long. You've now gone and downloaded what you need. So you can come out of your browser and you need to go and open up your file explorer. You can come straight to your downloads like so. Go to the left and click on downloads. And what you want to do is go and locate Optifine. Now go and double click on it like so. You should go and get the installer. If you don't, it probably is because you don't go and have Java. So come back to your web browser and you want to go and search for Java or you can go straight to java.com. What you can then do is download Java and you can then go and install it. It's super straightforward. After you've done that, come back to Optifine, right click on it, hover over open with and you want to click on choose another app. You can then find Java and click on always and it will then go and run. What you can then do is go and click on install like so and shortly you should go and get a pop-up like that. Now, once you've got it installed, we need to go and open up Minecraft. Go to the left of the play button and there you'll see the profiles and make sure you go and select Optifine. Then you can go and click on play. It's now gone and loaded, here we are. You can click on options and then video settings. You'll go and notice a few different options here. One of them being shaders. So then what you can do is go and click on it. What you then need to do is go and click on shaders folder. What we now need to do is add in the shaders pack here. So let's go and open up a file explorer and you can find the pack you downloaded and go and drag and drop it in like that. It will then go and appear in this list. So then what you can do is go and select the pack you just went and downloaded, press done and done again. And then we can go and get into a world. These shaders look absolutely insane.